Milestone. Johns Hopkins University reporting the global death toll has topped 2 million. And here in Florida, Florida is reporting nearly 17,000 new cases within the last 24 hours. Broward is seeing nearly 1,400 new cases. Miami-Dade has nearly 2,700 new cases. And Monroe is reporting 65 new cases. Positivity rates are between 8 and 10%. Amid threats of another violent siege. Meantime, the president elect is forging ahead with his plans for his first 100 days with a massive relief package for the nation. Janice joins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Janice. And we are just learning that president elect Biden says he will use the Defense Production Act to maximize production of the coronavirus vaccine. It's all part of his aggressive approach to combat the virus. A clear and ambitious plan to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. We'll have to move heaven and earth to get more people vaccinated, to create more places for them to get vaccinated. President-elect Joe Biden unveiling his nearly $2 trillion plan. It includes $1,400 checks to most Americans, $130 billion to reopen schools safely, and $160 billion to build a national vaccine program and ramp up testing. Biden says he wants 100 million vaccine shots to be given by the end of his first 100 days in office. I know what I just described does not come cheaply. The failure to do so will cost us dearly. But while Biden is eager to get to work, the early days of his administration could be overshadowed by President Trump's trial in the Senate. And it's still unclear if there are enough Senate Republicans to find Trump guilty of incitement of insurrection. 17 Republican senators would need to defect, and so far, not a single one is on record saying they will. The president's legal team is gearing up for a trial, and they have their arguments ready. A source familiar with Trump's impeachment defense says the legal team plans to argue the president's speech falls under the protected speech category. They also plan to question the legality of a Senate impeachment trial that takes place after he leaves office. As Biden poses to take the oath of office in just five days, security is at an all-time high. Our security plan was developed to respond to any contingency that might arise on and leading up to January 20th. And President Trump is planning to go out with a bang, hoping to steal some of Biden's spotlight on Inauguration Day. His departure ceremony at Joint Base Andrews will include a color guard, a military band, a 21-gun salute, and even a red carpet. And the National Mall, where the inauguration takes place, remains closed, and the public will be barred from that area until after inauguration. You can count on Local 10 for complete coverage out of Washington. We have a full-time bureau in our nation's capital. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo will be live in Washington on Local 10 News at 5. Okay. A demand for the COVID vaccine shows no signs of slowing down, and there is also a growing disparity in who is getting the shots. Let's go to Local 10's Alex Finney live now with a push to get more African Americans in those vaccine lines. Alex. And so, Calvin, here's the thing. The proof is really in the numbers. We have just shy of 40,000 black Floridians that have gotten this vaccine. That is a stark contrast to what we're seeing in terms of other races getting this vaccine very behind in terms of those numbers. And I spoke with people within the black community today, giving me some really interesting perspective that I'm able to pass on tonight. And they said the two main reasons for this disparity, number one is fear and number two, accessibility. The Florida Department of Health working with places of worship to boost the number of vaccinations being given out, especially among minorities. But is that enough? One community activist weighing in. The church back in the day was the main stable in the community, right? That has changed. It's community centers around, there's other resources that's around. I, I, me personally, I don't think that's enough. And you can see here in the numbers, a little over 38,000 black people have been vaccinated in the state of Florida compared to just over 494,000 white people. A huge disparity there. Why? We're scared of taking a vaccine and then our health uh, is 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 affected negatively by it. And that skepticism is nothing new. The Tuskegee syphilis experiment in the 1930s, just one example in which the disease progressed without treatment. And yes, we are now in 2021 and modern medicine has progressed. But culturally, there's still a barrier. I think the state, I think the federal government need to have a better communication plan within the black community. My mom and my dad got it. Yeah, my, my mom, she felt bad one day and then the next day she's she was feeling she was feeling just fine. I think people should start sharing their stories. Really important there.
Shalom. I want to start this lesson off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, your great master, and every well. And peace, blessing, and salutation to the elect scattered abroad. My name is Yawanathan, coming with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Lord willing, this video is edifying. And, you know, had a few couple of news articles that I grabbed and, you know, I played them in the beginning and you see, man, uh, this whole C, you know, crowd, crowd, uh, crown royale one nine, you know, ain't no stop to this thing, man. You know, the Lord is going to continue, you know, adding this pestless, um, this pestilent, uh, pestilent in the land, man, but, um, the second one I played was, um, you know, the soon-to-be president, Joe Biden, saying that in his 100 days in office, you know, he's gonna, um, distribute 100 million vaccines, man, you know, and, you know, and that's the spirit, because in the third video, you know, it was stating that, um, you know, so-called, uh, you know, so-called black people aren't taking the vaccine, man. You know, so saying that um, the other demographic of races, such as so-called white people, are taking the vaccine, but you know, so-called black people aren't taking the vaccine. And you know, if you go back through the video and watch, it also says that the government is gonna be working with the worshiping worshiping centers. You know, as we call uh, churches, you know, to, um, to um, what's the word I'm looking for? To encourage, uh, so, so like, to encourage, you know, you so-called black people to take this Maxine, man. You know, going back to Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, man. Roughly paraphrasing, but he had but a short, but, but he had but a short time, man. So, you know, they, they're not going to stop at nothing, you know, to push their new world order or their new world agenda, man. Joe, You see it in the clip. You know, Joe Biden says that in his first 100 days in office, you know, he's going to distribute 100 million vaccines, man. And he's going to do that, you know. But even in the third clip, you see, you know, Jake, you know, Jake, Got a little zeal learning from the, the past because you have the Tuskegee experiment, you know, in the video saying go back to 1930s, you know, so they still feeling, you know, Jake knowing their spirit, not to trust E. But, you know, you have Jake still trusting E. But that just to show you, man, you know, going back, but he had but a short time, man. So, you know, you see in these, you know, in these later days, you're going to see, you know, they going to make Jake take that Maxine. You know, one way or, or another, man. Because right now, you know, everything is all good. You know, everything is all good. You know, you can go to the store. You can renew your registration. You can renew your insurance. You know, you could get your license. You know, you could go to, you know, a different state, a different city if you have to. You could do all these things, man. You could go to, you know, your family member or your friend house. You know, you got the luxury right now to do these things, man. You know, you you still getting benefits from E. You know, you're you know you're living, getting you know monetary from E. All these things, you know, it's cool right now. You know, so just imagine, man. You know, it says in a video, Joe Biden says in his, you know, first 100 days in office, he's gonna distribute 100 million vaccines, man, because they know, you know, Jake not taking the vaccine. You know, in the state of Florida, that's where they were uh, reporting this news. I think it's about like 40, under 40,000, you know, Jakes or, you know, so-called black people that took it. But, you know, the demographic they showed was, you know, so-called white people. It was maybe about 100 or maybe two or 300,000. Go back to the video and you see that um, and you see that Jake. Or not, E took it. A hundred is like two or three or four hundred thousand. So that's showing you that you know Jake is not taking the the Maxine. But um, grab a scripture. 
and I brought it out or, you know, mentioned it earlier, but that's just to show you that, you know, he's going to stop at nothing, man, to distribute this vaccine to make sure that, you know, these people take the vaccine, man, because 100 million, you know, 100 million doses of that abomination, man, who you think is going to, you know, go into, you know, yeah, they're going to, you know, make sure the, the low level Edomites take it. But that's, you know, that's for the tribe, man. That's for Jake. You know, so uh, this is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. And it, and it reads, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, but because he know that he had but a short time, man. And that's right, man. You know, they know time is ticking, man. Here, here, um, you know, down south, here in Florida, you know, it wasn't an earthquake, but the earth was trembling, man. So that's just to show you that, you know, these people know they have but a short time. That's why they're going to do these things, man. And how do you think these people are going to enforce this vaccine in these later days, man? You know, through the military, man. You see it right now. You know, they're trying to distract the military being here because of this so-called election but you know they're here for a reason man they're here because they're gonna be the one that's enforcing this vaccine in these days man that's why they're here you know they might have it covered up as if they're trying to protect these you know um because there was an alert or there was an article or a warning if i may say that and you know uh fbi tip that there was you know it was gonna be you know, because uh, Trump losing in all 50 states that, you know, things about to pop off. So imagine there's military in all 50 states because of, you know, uh, Trump leaving office, man. No, nah, man, you got to really think on what's going on. You can't be simple minded, man. You can't be, you know, take what, you know, they say, man. What do they say? Uh, Psalms 58 and 3, you know, the wicked, roughly paraphrasing, the wicked are a strain. Uh, let's get that. All right. Um, this is Psalms chapter 50. So, so is 58. 58 verse 3, and it reads, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, man. And that's what they do, man. You know, think about it. You know, if things, all right, how can I say this? But there's many things that go on in this society, in this government that we don't know about because they hide it from us, man. The things that you see on the news are the things that they want us to know. You know, most of them be fear, you know, fear monger, fear te uh, techniques. But these things, you know, are usually here to, you know, uh, cause they want us to know, but the things that, you know, we, uh, the things that they hide from us are the things that, you know, that they don't want us to know. So you got to think, you got to logically think about it, man. You know, why is there the military in all 50 states, man? Cause you know, hell's about to break loose, man. Martial law, it, you know, martial law is about to happen, man. You know, and when martial law happens, the military, you know, takes force, you know, they step in, man. So if that happens, it's already going to be there. So if, you know, in the in the first 100 days, if the president, you know, is going to distribute 100 vaccines, who's going to enforce it, man? The military. But here you have it. You know, they have, you know, they have this whole thing talking about, you know, uh, because Trump's leaving, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a war, you know, it is going to be sedition amongst, you know, it's going to be sedition, but, you know, the whole thing is to, you know, make, make sure everyone takes that vaccine and then what's next? The mark of the beast, man, RFID chip, man, you know, so that's the things that they're trying to do. But, you know, Jake, you know, they got a little zero right now, got to give it to Jake. They're not taking it, man. But, you know, back to what I was saying before. You know, here you have it. You have, um, they said in a video, the last clip, you know, they're trying to influence and encourage the worship centers or the worship places, which are churches, 
you know, to influence or, and encourage the people to take the Maxine, man. As to show you that, you know, you churches, you know, they sell out, man. These churches are sell out churches. They all under that 501c3, man. You know? Man, this thing is not a joke, man. These devils about to come down hard, man. You got the devil, you got the devil uh Joe Biden saying he gonna distribute a hundred million doses, man, of this Maxine, man. In the first 100 days, man. It's not time to be playing around, man. Speaking for myself first and foremost, man. You know? It's time to be, it's time to, you know, get serious, man. This battle, this, 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 this you know, we about to go into battle, man. Like the brother I don't want to say, man. It's time to tighten up. Because, you know, best believe, you know, we putting all our trust, faith in Yahweh Bashim Yashah. But, you know, Eve's about to do what he was sent here to do, man. Be wicked, man. So, you know, like I was mentioning in the beginning of the video, man. Right now, we got the luxury to go to the store. You know, go to the mall, uh, shit, even go to, you know, a little urgent care if you, you know, feeling whatever. You know, you could go to this city, this county, this state, man. But, you know, um, because, you know, you so-called black, uh, Hispanic and Native Americans, you know, aren't taking, you know, jumping at each command to take the uh, Maxine. That's just to show you that, man, in these days, man, that he's going to do, you know, he's going to do whatever he have to to make you take that Maxine, man. You got Jake on video in the beginning of the video saying, um, you got Jake in the, the beginning of the video saying, you know what? I ain't taking that Maxine. I don't care what you say. You know, I ain't taking that Maxine. I ain't never took one before and I ain't going to start now. I don't care what you say. Uh, you know, the Jake interviewer asked him and said, so if they said that uh, if you have to go to prison, would you take it? Ah, oh, man, you pushing a you pushing a hard bargain, man. Give me the give me the Maxine, man. That's the mindset, man, of Jake, man. You know, that's the mindset, man. But we know the elect, you know, Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. You brothers are a part of that number, man. Um, you know, we not going to. Uh, we're not going to take that chip. We're not going to take that chip. We're not going to take the Maxine, man. But this is what they about to do, man. But that's the mindset of Jake. You know, they, they, you know, they ride for something until you actually got to show action, you know. And that's spiritual, too, because, you know, Jake saying, you know, they love the Lord. They love um, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know, um, uh, you know, they say that they love, but, you know, they don't show no action behind them words that they that come out their mouth, man. Because knowing that you're an Israelite is not enough, man. You got to do the work. But nevertheless, you know, that's the mind frame, the, uh, mind frame of Jake, man. You know, here you have it. You standing tough, but as soon as they say you about to go to prison, you know, you don't want to take that match scene. Even in the scriptures say that, you know. Roughly paraphrasing, and they shall cast you into prison, man. Let me get that. You know, because, you know, this is the times that's coming, man. People thinking that this, you know, they thinking that this is a game, man. But we but we in, you know, we, we in battle right now, man, spiritually. And we about to be in battle right now, too. So, you know, that's why scriptures say we need to gir uh, gird in our loins, man. But um, this is uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. And it reads, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, man. So that means that the things that we are about to come to, man, it's already written, man. We just got to, you know, go through it, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, man. Because it's inevitable, man. These things have to happen, man. You know, we got to go through this, man. Just think about... You know, our Lord, Yahweh Shah, man. Think about the things that he went through, man. You know? So these things that we about to come to, I don't want to put it on no lower scale. But, you know, it, we got to go through these things. Think about what our Lord went to, man. So we got to go through these things. Let me keep reading. Behold, the devil shall cast you. Shalakim. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. You know? 
So these things got to happen, man. You know, brothers might go into FEMA camps, man. But you got to hold on, man. Be strong. You know, don't be like uh, Jake in the interview. Holding, you know, saying all these words. But when that time come, you fold, man. You got to stay strong, man. That he may be tried, man. So this is true, man. We about to be tried, man. This is our trial, man. Our hour of temptation, man. You know, these are the things that got to happen, man. You know? And these shall have tribulation 10 days, meaning that, you know, you're going to be, you know, in that uh, FEMA camp, prison, you know, 10 days. Lord going to try your spirit. Uh, let me keep reading. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, man. Meaning that, you know, brothers going to die for this truth, man. Scripture say, I will give you a crown of life. You know, like, like Matthew 24 says, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. You got to endure, man. You got to go through this, man. You got to think about all the brothers before you, man, our forefathers, man. You know? So, you know, brothers, keep pushing, man. To, you know, seek the Lord while he still may be found, man. You know, seek the Lord now. Seek him while he still may be found, man. But, you know, brothers, sisters, man, keep pushing, man. You know, the Lord is about to, you know, our Lord about to come get us out of here, man. But... That being said, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Raha Kodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim and Aruel, and peace, blessing, and citations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom and a bar.